What is up everyone, my name's Al from Games Rip. Today, we're taking a look at an amazing bling cast. That's right, we're taking a look at Twisted Metal 4. That's right, carnage all over the place. It is a vehicular carnage game, as you'll probably already know, and has quite a long sort of line of decent games. So does it play well on the Dreamcast? Let's take a look. Oh yes, oh yes, oh yes, this is it. This is Twisted Metal 4 playing on the Sega Dreamcast. That's right, we're using the Beta Bleamcast version here, supplied by Shindoju. And to be fair, my god, what an incredible bleam. It's pretty much, well, to be fair, it's Twisted Metal 4 in its entirety. And to be fair, it plays pretty well. Now, before you actually go ahead and try and play this, I 100% make sure to do what I didn't hear, or didn't do here, and basically change the controls. So you need to do exactly as I've just done, or am doing right now, on the screen. Because if you don't, you will not be able to play this game. You will literally just drive around and probably get killed. But obviously if you do, then it means you can do this. Which, let's face it, is essentially the aim of the game, right? Yeah, you've got to basically shoot each other, and if you can't shoot, you basically can't play the game. So let's talk about the controls. The controls here are really, really solid, and like I said, as long as you make those changes, you're looking for a fun time. Or I should say, you're not looking for a fun time, you're having a fun time. I mean, the issue really here with this plane is basically graphically. The actual gameplay works really really solidly even the sound is to be fair pretty much impeccable the only sound issue clearly or really seems to be the menu music but yeah we've got a lot of graphics jumping in and out but i mean the essence of the game is here and you know it's one hell of a game especially playing on a bling cast i can actually also report that even the multiplayer works that's right split screen it actually works on a bling. Now this is, to be fair, not always the case. I mean, a lot of bling casts, the multiplayer just doesn't function properly. This, yeah, it actually works quite well. Now there's obviously no need for you to have uh, the actual bling cast via the SD uh, for this because, let's face it, you don't need to control or make any changes to the actual control system. Like I said, you can, and you will need to via the button changes within the game, but there's no need to use any third-party software here. This is Bleem at its best and at its purest. I mean, I really, you know, it boggles the mind now that there's so many Bleem casts and decent Bleem casts at that. I mean, we went from having, yeah, a few, you know, literally a few, to what we've got now. Like I said, Shindoju, and to be fair, there's a couple others working on the bling cost. They're just getting better and better and better. And the more time they actually devote to actually making the blings work perfectly, I think eventually we're going to see most PS1 games work, and to be fair, work quite well on the PlayStation 1. I mean, the other bonus with this one is it controls well. Like I said, obviously, graphically it's pretty decent. I mean, it's all right. Uh, it's very passable and playable. There's no hiccups in the actual gameplay. There's no real stuttering. Again, works well and is a really good time. You know what I really want to see come up on Bleemcast next? Yeah, that's right. Vigilante A. If this can happen, then I cannot wait. Obviously, leave a comment here of what Bleemcast you like to see make its way to the Sega Dreamcast. And we'll see exactly what we can do about that. I've been out from Game Trip. Like comment and subscribe. I'll see you all soon. You can now support the channel on patreon.com forward slash games rip as well as remember to like, comment and subscribe.